Hi. So yesterday I dropped a video on um, the conversation between Chinwe and Ruti against Nelly. Where I don't know what Chinwe has against Nelly. Well, for the best that I can remember in girls' group or in a certain way, of course, young girls are. You know, the one they consider the least attractive, when she gets the most attention from the guys, it brews a lot of envy and one kind of anger towards her because she is getting the attention that they are thinking they are supposed to get. But it baffles me the fact that Chiwe is even in the house with her boyfriend. What is the big deal when two guys, that is Mario and Soj, are clamoring over Nelly. And I'm seeing it like Nelly is not even really into the mayor. She's, I think, more towards the suit because I saw them yesterday even doing some things together in the um, upstairs um, um, open session. Like, like is it wardrobe? I'm, I'm sorry. Clo <laughs> How will I say? Open closet, walking closet. Yeah. I saw them doing something. Like, they've been even getting closer, closer somehow. And I made a mistake from that my yesterday's video. I was referring to Mayo as Mickey. In fact, I got to the point of even adding him in the love. It wasn't Mickey. Michael has nothing. Michael has his own squabbles with uh, the twins, the Wani and Handy, and that's by the way. Him twins on another level that I don't understand. That maybe will come to him later. But this is it here. Chinwe, I don't know what she has against Nelita, and she's sort of trying to instigate Ruti, if you ask me. Ruti is just there and there, there. Like, she loves. I don't know if the word love is too strong. I think she likes Mayo, but she's still feeling a little bit insecure. Do you know, when you like a guy, it's different from when a guy likes you. She likes Mayo, but Mayo, I don't think he is... He might be flirting, comfortable flirting with her and all of that, but I think he got his eyes more on Nelly. But the chin way and what she has against Nelly is what I don't understand. During the day, she had a conversation with Ruti. Even telling Ruti that when she's even having competition with Nelly, she call her, you know, I make her come buy your fight, that kind of thing in Nigeria. Like, like, when people say, let me make her come buy your fight, like they want to come and help you fight someone. She later again in the night started having that same conversation with her boyfriend Zion. And him too was busy opening his mouth. I don't know what he has against uh, uh, Nelly too. And was also condemning her, saying that uh, girls like that that they put in their bio that they are chefs but they don't do just chef like they were just condemning her honestly like they were not saying they were saying vile things about her that's the truth then coming back to chini that is an ine that is the indian nedu i spoke about them too yesterday though i didn't watch the conversation they had yesterday but i later watched it and online and then i came and spoke about it yesterday ne nah, auntie auntie but that's nice that's a good sight to behold suddenly in big brother house you know you know that's a very new one and for me i like it mm -hmm. i like it i like it so she was going to meet her aunts they had a little slight and which was still related to what happened yesterday because the chinney that is the aunt is claiming that they don't regard her everything and she keeps pushing on first class that because nigga first class i don't think is any of that see eh? there's something we call individual differences in education setting people are different doesn't mean that they don't have a conversation with you means that they are looking down on you or they're downplaying your intelligence or your own education and all of that no it might just be that which is even like that because most of the housemates have said that that ne is much more easy to be around than chinni the aunt and she's much more understanding and she gives more room to listen to you not impose things on you and to be honest with you for me that's the characteristics of a good leader yeah, listen to your followers. And I think Ine is depicting that. And that's why some people have said that Ine is even acting more mature than her aunt. And honestly speaking, if we've all grown up in African homes, it's just that maybe the Gen Z now are not getting the type of um, um, training that we, the millennials, had. Our parents are always correct. We grew up <laughs> with imposition. Like half of our life, 50% of our lives, are not things that we wanted to do. It was things that our parents wanted us to do. And whether we like it or not, Chinde is more of a mother figure in as much as yes, she's aunt, but you could tell that maybe um, Ne was born in front of her, she carried her, so she even has more of the motherly um, 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 instinct towards Ine than even the aunts. And let's be realistic in our culture or where I come from, our aunts are almost, almost 
equivalent to our mothers. You know, it remains just small difference, if you know what I'm trying to say to you. But now my take is the fact that she is whining, talking about this first class is even becoming so, um, it's giving different meanings. Like, is she jealous of her niece? Is she, you know, I, un I won't say I understand, but you know, when you go to a place with someone and you guys are representative because this Bieber season is a duo, you understand? It's two in one, two in one. Do you understand? And she feels that everybody is, they are both head of house, obviously, yeah? And she feels that everybody tends to be taking name more serious than her. And you know, again, maybe the age thing, she feels she's older. Like I tell you, our African elders always feel that they're always, always correct. Even me, I feel that way. I'm not lying to you. It's just a natural thing, honestly. But it's so unfortunate that maybe the young ones that are watching are picking up fans. But that to me is a normal thing but it's just that okay she should just take note that they are on television and a lot of people are watching them and they're going to take different meaning out of it but you could see even the inni herself is not really bothered or baffled with the whole you know and this thing then let me touch a little bit on nikki that is the guy from the do from the radical i don't know what his problem is he claims that he has a four years relationship outside he has a spirit with me i don't understand that their own conversation and he's still going after handy that is one of the twins and then coming close to the handy as in, you could tell he likes like me i don't like guys like that too that they like a lady and then they are condemning her and i even heard that he even went as far as even like trying to turn her against excuse me excuse me please he was trying to turn her against her twin sister to me that's weird you've never started dating the girl you guys have never started doing anything you're already trying to separate family not just family her twin sister away from her to me mickey is just doing too much he's just doing too too much even their diary session they finish they tear they tear that guy down there like he's just doing too much he's just i don't know the typical let me don't use the word jersey for jersey people will come for me but he's just acting i don't know i don't know he's so desperate to have a ship guys i wish this um season they will relax and realize that we're not crazy about seeing a ship like personally do i like a ship yes but am i crazy to see a ship no because everybody is doing well mm -hmm. everyone is doing well even the same way that even in a ship to me the ship is not even entering my eye like that like that so let me stop here and hope to see you later.